hate it at the same time You and I drink the poison from the same fire Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time Okay, I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna show you guys how I would get film borders really quickly and the way I use them in order to make reels, to make videos, and uh, let's just get into it. So, okay, I have some beach footage. I have a nice song to go with it. Let's go ahead and get started. And the point is, how do we edit quicker? How do we get to the desired result faster? Anything I make for my store or my gum road, the point is I made it for myself because I use it and I made it to move faster in DaVinci Resolve but they work in anything uh, you edit in. Here we go. We're gonna bring in the song. All right, we just want the soundtrack. Okay, let's play that. Here we go. Okay, cool. And now let's just start going in here and bringing in some footage. So I love this clip. Boom, bring that in. We're gonna bring all these clips in with sound because, well, because I just like doing that. That's Rebecca and my son going to the water. Let's use that. Okay, let's bring that in. We'll put that in front since it's gonna be daytime. Me, I'm playing the sand. Yes, this is great. Here we go. Take some of that, put that in there. Okay, let's play it. And I, I just edit as I go. Okay. Really quickly, we have a nice little edit. All right, now let's move faster. Let's get a better result. Let's put some film borders. Let's get some color. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply color to this first shot here. I'm going to go in. I already have my power grades that I love. That's why I made them. I'm going to apply it. And then I'm going to go into the CST. I know that this is DaVinci Wide Gamut 4.5. I know this is uh, DaVinci Nine Film Gen 5. Perfect, and now I'm just really quickly going to copy that to all of them. Okay, I'm back. Let's look. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Great, now let's grab a film border. Okay, you're gonna wanna drag in your film border, so wherever you have them saved, um, they just, six of them that come in the pack, you grab them and drag them in. I already have them in, so I won't do that. And now that they're in, you can use them. You just drag them onto your timeline, and that's it. We're gonna go in here, look at list view. It's horizontal, use a horizontal one. It's a vertical, use a vertical one. I know that I'm absolutely in love with this one. That's why I made it. Look at that. Oh my God, just beautiful. Here we go. Let's play it. Let's see what we got. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. You and I drink the poison from the same fire. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. And boom, we're done. So that's the point is... We want to work fast. How can I get borders quickly? How can I get my uh, power grade on there quickly? I made that power grade because that power grade is, it has almost everything that I really want in the beginning setup of anything. Like if we click it really quick and come into a beautiful shot like this, we can see that um, we have our noise reduction, white balance, exposure, contrast, saturation, all our primaries in different nodes. This is a node for skin and hues. You can turn these off if you don't want to. I have a relight in here that it highlights the center. So I'm, I'm in most cases, I turn this off or I adjust it. So in this situation, I'm going to adjust it. It's like the opposite of a vignette. Instead of vignetting the outside, you add a little bit of light. And then um, I have my blur and grain, which is how I do all my grain now. I blur the image slightly, then add grain. So I'm taking noise out and noise reduction, adding texture back in with these two nodes. And then I have my color space transform, my Kodak 2393 LUT, which you can get for free on my Gumroad and then post contrast and black point. And the reason why I have a black point is because I love my black point after my LUT. It's just how I do it. And yeah, that's how you edit quickly. You know, the point of these tools is edit quickly, make something cool, fast, get it out. You know, uh, nowadays people are making like content and reels every day and that could take up a lot of your time. You wanna move quicker. So really quickly, let's say that we wanted to make this a vertical Instagram reel. All right, let's do it. Here it goes. So let's just grab this. I'm going to grab all of this, paste it, I'm going to delete this one, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add the vertical tube, all right, switch it, boom, look at that, look at that, let's watch it. Okay. 
beautiful and we have a reel and then export and let's just say hypothetically i like my box indented i get good results on instagram like that and i really like the format but let's say you wanted this to the edge you just click it go to zoom and zoom it until you know until you want it wherever you want it but now you got to go into your footage and do the same thing and then there you go so if you want it a wider there it is all right guys take advantage of these if this is what you're looking to do um the feed results doesn't have the best uh settings and tools to make borders it's not bad but it's not amazing and that's why i made these i want to be able to edit i want to be able to edit quicker and if you're looking for a power read that a quick and easy setup has noise reduction has texture has noise in it or has a grain back in it, nice uh, cinematic grain here it is hope these help and i hope you guys enjoy these later